What's going on guys? Chad back with you here on the channel. And there's been a lot of firmware updates and iOS updates and all of that good stuff going on <clears throat> with our Phantoms and our Mavics and all that stuff. Okay guys, let's take it the look at the change log for DJI Go 4. And this is 4.0.7. This is what you will want to use with all of the newest firmware updates that just came out for maximum compatibility and success. So you can see the Mavic Pro, they added the fixed wing mode and the editor got some updates as well uh, to import music from iTunes some transition effects that's pretty nice stuff for people that don't uh, really want to spend money on additional editing programs or anything of course there's the find my drone which is very handy we're going to be demoing that warnings for return to home altitude and one tap return to home function added a function to verify your purchase fix bugs that occasionally set off activation warnings optimized return to home warning in flight restricted zones and optimized unlock feature for authorization zones which we will cover that as well take a look at the Mavic Pro release notes of course the added fixed wing mode which I've seen videos on and it's kind of a 50 50 split people either love it or hate it I think it's pretty neat and it's going to lead us into the spark being I think more of a hmm not a racing quad but a more maneuverable type of machine uh, battery level low warning able to uh, turn off that for the controller optimized dual remote control version optimized no fly zone return to home and unlocking improved playback performance improved default colors for DNG files that's pretty nice that's nice anytime the Mavic Pro camera gets an update that's always cool and optimized gimbal auto calibration that is awesome as well My other ship, Phantom 4 Pro. This version, 1.03.0509 for the DJI Go 4 app, 4.0.7. Optimized no fly zone, return to home and unlocking, and improved 4K video recording stability. That's kind of an important one. A lot of the professional people have said that. Uh, they're, they have noticed that for some reason uh, the Phantom 4 Pro has been skipping frames when it is recording at certain K 4K frame rates. Evidently it never did, did this before and then there was um, some updates and that kind of brought that back to the surface. So that is pretty cool. So anyway, let us check one more thing here. Nope, that's it. Let's uh, let's go to the. All right, let's take a look at this new Go Four Point Zero Point Seven. We'll go ahead and click on that. Load it up on the iPad here. Um, let's go back out to the menu. Up in the top right hand corner on our three bars, if we press the button, we now see that we have no fly zone and find my drone. If we click on the no fly zone, it's going to bring us up a map and it is going to bring us into the middle of the country. And basically what this is, is DJI's attempt at using a built-in app and helping people find out where it's safe to fly. Um, there's other apps out there that do this, uh, but of course people uh, have uh, issues with those apps. Um, sometimes they're not the most reliable and it looks like you really can't fly anywhere. To use the map, 
all you do is just basically to finger it around to zoom in and everything else so that is pretty handy let's go back out here and let's go into the find my drone if we click in to find my drone it should update and see that my drone is real close by I can actually bring up the picture down here and show where it's looking at so if you had a video connection this might actually help you find um, if you see it staring into something in the background so that in itself is very handy if we press the three little dots up here it will actually show us um, our conditions as far as battery remote control and satellites if we actually click on the icon right there it will actually bring up the coordinates where it is at and we can also enable the LEDs which I'm looking at mine right now on the table and they're flashing and we can press ESC beeping so as you can hear it's very loud in the background so that's pretty nice that would be very handy with some of my mini quads so we'll turn that off and that's it with the new updates with the DJI Go 4 app. Firmware update wise, everything went well. The Phantom flew just as good as it did before the update. Now, uh, updaters beware. There is a small percentage of people out there that are saying that this firmware update caused stability issues and it has also called, caused limited range. So make sure to test everything out in a safe flying location before you go out on your drone adventures or misadventures. The other thing to consider <clears throat> is to make sure you go through as always with every firmware update and make and check all of your settings. Uh, return to home altitudes, obstacle avoidances, max distances and height because a lot of the times those get reset. Mine were this time too. Um, I'm not a proponent of recalibrating unless I need to. So click on the little advanced and sensors tab and take a look at your sensors and make sure they are all within spec. If not, do the proper calibrations. If you have any flight issues, do the calibrations and then recheck flying and see if that has solved your problem. That should be about it. Hopefully everything goes well and hopefully this was uh, informative to you people who do not like to update early. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys later.